Now we're going to blend where we created this line from shaving the neck all the way up from behind the ear. We're going to blend this all right here so that it, you can't see a line here. But the first thing you have to do is strip that neck out, get all that dead hair out, and that will make it look a lot cleaner to begin with. So you take your stripping knife and you just comb through it, pulling out the dead hair. And it just comes out like that. And when you're done doing the neck, you can continue on finish stripping the rest of the back, but for right now we're just going to do the neck. So you kind of have to pull the skin taut to really be able to, to strip it really well. And as you can see, a lot's coming out. Okay. So once you've got it all stripped out and Pretty much with a Cocker Spaniel, I mean, you can strip for days and you can never be done. I mean, it just it just keeps coming. So, once you feel like you've got it pretty well stripped out, you take your thinning shears and you work on that line. So, you're just going to go into the line like this. Make sure you blend it. You might have to pull the skin a little bit tight to, to really get it good. And you take your slicker. Every so often you just brush out what you just were trimming. And you just keep going until it's blended the way you want it to. Now where you stop blending depends on the dog and what you're trying to achieve. If it's a dog that's just in a pet trim, it really doesn't matter. You just want it to blend nicely. So I just go a little bit into where we were on the front. If it's a show dog and you want to accentuate the neck, I take it a little bit further back and go all the way back here into the shoulder area. And that just gives the appearance of a really nice long neck. You can never have too long of a neck in the show ring. And anywhere that kind of sticks up, just kind of tip it off with your thinning shears. And this is where having really good thinning shears really comes into play. The sharper they are, the more teeth they have, the finer the thin will be. And it will all blend really pretty. So, that's about what that should look like when you're done with the thinning shears on the neck and you just do the same thing on the other side.